It's a profession that has always been more at risk because of violence and now a virus. In this week's edition of The Best and the Bravest, we hear how law enforcement officers are trying to strike a balance between protecting civilians and protecting themselves. The Best and the Bravest. Discovering the gems in everyday life. Brought to you by... Rise up, Jamaica, rise up. Rise up, Jamaica, rise up. Please, social distance. Enforcing the law and serving the public, the role of police officers remains the same, but the responsibilities now include having to be concerned with a new infectious disease. At first, I, I started wondering what is going to become of this pandemic. You know, um, how many persons will be affected? You know, it was just a matter of time to, for it to spread, how fast would it spread, and all of that. And my greatest fear was to actually contract the COVID virus, because we all know that if you have any type of complications or any form of background illness and contract, contracting the COVID virus, then you probably you end up die or we don't know what the outcome might be after contracting the virus. With COVID's arrival in the island, there were some uncertainties. There were fears, concerns, apprehension as to what is this, how will we treat it, how will we go forward. The officers had concerns because like a policeman we said, boy, you know, somebody just get one baby and we have to work at home, COVID, go give me family now. But then when that is said, we emphasize that what is important is your, you have to practice the safety measures. Measures which include regular hand sanitizing, wearing of masks and gloves, and physical distancing. But even with precaution, they still have to be prepared for the unthinkable, like persons using the virus to evade the police. I remember one time I stopped a motorist along um, Strand Street, and when he came out and he was handing me the documents, he, he said to me that he should have just, he, he should just cough on the documents before handing them to me. And I would just give him a chance because I would probably presume that he had COVID and just let him go. Persons do it deliberately sometimes when they don't want to, when they want to be unruly. So they are in a situation and they start to, in a joke, sometimes they take it as a joke, but these are serious times. You can't joke about things like this. And the challenge for officers seems to be the same. Persons are not observing the protocols, the general public. Um, they're not wearing their mask, um, not observing the physical and social distancing, um, you know, the, the sanitizing of hands. Wearing of masks, people, they, some persons wear masks, but they don't wear it properly. The social distancing. For the best and the bravest, I am Dashan Hendricks. The best 